concern me, Sir Anthony. I would by no means wish a daughter of mine to be a progeny of learning. I don't think so much learning becomes a young woman. For instance, I would never let her meddle with Greek or Hebrew or algebra or simony or fluxions or paradoxes or such inflammatory branches of learning. Neither would it be necessary for her to handle any of your, your mathematical, astronomical, diabolical instruments. <laughs> but, Sir Anthony, I would send her at nine years old to a boarding school in order to learn a little of ingenuity and in artifice. Then, sir, she should have a supercilious knowledge of it in accounts. And as she grew up, I would have her instructed in geometry that she might know something of the contagious countries. Ah, uh, but above all, Sir Anthony, she should be a mistress of orthodoxy that she might not misspell and mispronounce words so shamefully as girls usually do. And likewise, that she might apprehend the true meaning of what she is saying. This, Sir Anthony, is what I would have a woman know. And I don't think there is a superstitious article in it. <laughs> Have you did that before? <laughs> Her name is Mrs. Malaprop. Yes, oh, yeah. oh, and nice. the things that she says in there. So that's yeah, everything she little says. off. Yeah. <laughs> but that particular street? Uh -huh.